In my book, Building Executive Function, The Missing Link to Student Achievement, I present a list of 40 executive function skills. These are the foundational skills to learning at all levels, and I've grouped them into seven overarching categories of working memory, cognitive flexibility, planning, reasoning, problem solving, inhibitory control, and self-awareness. But this is not how I present them in the book. To gain some insight into my approach to instructional improvement and innovation, let's start with my company's logo. A typical instructional approach is to teach students skills, and then once those skills are mastered, offer the student a culminating project to which to apply those skills. While it makes sense that students have to learn skills before they can apply them, this approach ignores the basics of how the brain learns. David Sousa tells us, that in order for information to be stored in long-term memory, it must make sense and have meaning. So a more successful instructional approach is to begin by providing students with an authentic open-ended problem to solve, which will create a felt need for students to learn. Daniel Pink would call this the purpose for learning. Then provide students with differentiated opportunities to learn the skills they need to solve the problem. This flip triangle, designed in 1997, represents one of the essential paradigm shifts of the learner-active, technology-infused classroom. Thus, my approach to building executive function is not to address the skills absent of the bigger picture. Instead, I consider what greater purpose each of these skills serves in our lives. Success in life is all about efficacy and leadership. Efficacy is a mindset that says, I can accomplish anything I want. I can make a plan and carry it out. I can find a problem and solve it. I can make a difference in the lives of others. I can change the world. Leadership means that I can inspire and influence others to join me in making a difference. If schools could graduate students with these life skills, they would open unimaginable doors for their students, and they would in the process achieve all of the academic goals on their list. In order to reach these levels, you begin with those executive function skills that are very basic to learning and human interaction, conscious control. This includes the ability to focus, remember details, and think before acting. From there, you build the skills of engagement, the ability to grapple with content, initiating and persisting in a task, changing perspectives, identifying cause and effect relationships. These are just some of the executive function skills required for engagement. And once you can engage with content, you can collaborate with others to solve problems, apply learning, and create together. The next overarching life skill is the ability to be empowered. When someone gives you power, you need to be able to set goals, manage time, catch and correct errors, monitor performance, and reflect on your goals. All of the executive function skills required to achieve these life skills are advanced through activities and, more importantly, structures, and teacher facilitation. While empowerment involves someone else giving you power, efficacy involves empowering yourself, no longer depending on someone else to make you successful. Efficacious people can work toward a goal, consider future consequences in light of current action, define problems, predict outcomes, and more. The executive function skills related to efficacy are best addressed through a culture of creativity and a culture of problem solving. Leadership then draws on all of the executive function skills, which in turn support what I refer to as the super skills of leadership. Schools need to view executive function skills as foundational for greater life accomplishments and start by putting students in situations in which they need these larger life skills. Then, armed with a felt need, students can develop the executive function skills to meet with success. It's important to realize that while these skills do build on one another, they are not developed linearly. When students come to school, they possess some level of most of these skills, weaker in some, stronger in others. They are continually building all of these skills in concert. A kindergarten student, for example, can exhibit leadership skills. So it's important to engage students in all of these life skills throughout their career. However, addressing executive function in terms of greater life skill areas will help to hone your focus on the executive function skills needed for success in each area.
the book offers you specific activities, structures, and teacher facilitation strategies to help you develop your students into efficacious leaders. So go out and change the world.